Well, shit. All right. Guess we'll have to break up the hotel and check that out. This was a hell of an investment. I think I paid. I think I paid like 140 bucks for it, and it actually works on this car. So it's pretty damn impressive, in my opinion. So in we go. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what this is. Uh, it was on last year and it went away for the winter. But so I had my hopes up that maybe it was just going to stay gone. And of course this is not the video I was planning on making today. To be fair, I don't know that I was planning on making a video today. Anyway. And so, we we'll plug in down here in the OBD2 sensor. Or OBD2 port, I guess it really is. It's not so much of a sensor. Presto! And this comes to life. It's not touch screen. Guess I could put the key in. codes, stored codes, so yeah, it's the same as last year, that's an oxygen sensor heater, so nothing too crazy, um, I'll just have to go about actually ordering one now, I guess, but uh, just a quick little, you know, WTF moment with the car. But uh, yeah, nothing that's really drastic. So I'll get one ordered up uh, probably through uh, Rock Auto or uh, nah, FCP Euro, I guess. Uh, just because they've got a lifetime warranty on everything, which is cool as hell. And uh, I guess another video is going to be replacing an O2 sensor on a 996 Turbo. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can add anything to this video today because... It's Sunday, it's nice out, and maybe there's some cars around. So let's go for a drive. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket.